What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free Major League Baseball home run prop show for Monday, June 12th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. It really helps us out. I will get into the home run prop action momentarily. We had a decent day yesterday with the home run props. Didn't, uh, didn't have the same success that we had on Saturday where we hit uh, multiple winners. We did have three winners with the home run props yesterday, but... Uh, just a reminder for everybody, you know, these plays that I'm going to be giving out, these home run props, A, you don't have to play every single one that I give out. These are just the plays that I'm going to be having a couple bucks on on, uh, on Monday. But, um, you know, they're plays that are very high risk, high reward. They're meant to be that way. And they're not plays that I, I recommend anyone dump your whole bankroll into. They're just plays that you should have for some side action, some fun, some uh, some coffee money, like people, you know, play you know, player props just on the side as well. That's what I, you know, recommend doing. But I do know that some people like to parlay home run props. So what I recommend is, you know, if you're going to do a parlay, any parlay, three legs or more, I recommend doing a round robin. That way, you know, you cover yourself off because how many times have we all been uh, been off from one leg from hitting our parlay? But uh, if you do a round robin, it gives you a bit of a safety net in case one of those legs doesn't come in. And uh, I think it's just, it's just a much safer way to go if it's within your means. And... Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's really about the long and short of it. We will take a look at the plays that we did cash on uh, on Sunday. And we uh, started things off with Jack Suwinski for the Pirates. He came through for us at plus 430. Uh, Luis Robert also came through for us against the Marlins at plus 390. And uh, in that same matchup, Jorge Soler also cashed at plus 325. But, uh, you know... That's yesterday. Now we move on to Monday's action. And, you know, before I get into Monday's action, sort of want to remind everybody, I love interacting with you guys. So let me know in the comments section below your home run props. You know, sometimes I go in there and take a look at them myself. And sometimes I picked uh, picked and chosen a couple home run props from there as well. Because some of the props you guys drop in there are absolute fire. Um, but I implore everyone, if you're going to do that, drop those home run props in there before the games actually start. If they're not in there before the games start, they don't really help anybody. We're trying to beat the books as a team. One unit, one goal, and that goal every single day is to crush the books with these home run props. So um, also let me know in the comment section if you like the angle that I took on some of these games. If you don't like the angle, if you don't agree, hey, let's talk about it. Let's talk some shop. But uh, if you are looking for the games that I am the most confident in, as much as I want to hit all these home run props, don't necessarily do it every day. But if you want the games that I am the most confident in, including my daily $19 best bet, Head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But without further ado, we'll get into the home run prop action for Monday. What we're going to do for Monday's cards, there's going to be some home run props, obviously, here we're going to look at. There are also going to be a couple games we're going to highlight some uh, some some great betting opportunities with um, a little bit more in-depth, if you will. You know, The first one we're going to look at here is Raphael Devers for the Red Sox here against the Colorado Rockies, plus 320 now. Devers, he's hitting 294 with a pair of home runs in right against righties in the last week. Does get a matchup against a former teammate in Connor Seabold. Now, Seabold, he's got a 7% barrel rate allowed this season, so it's not bad. But in his short career, from his time with the Red Sox, um, Seabold owns an ERA over 21. Yeah, that's right, 21 in Fenway Park in two starts from his brief tenure with the Red Sox. Gave up a pair of home runs in 4.2 innings. Um, that's a Devers is a 13% barrel rate this year. So give me Raphael Devers for a home run at plus 320. I also lean towards Tristan Cassis for the uh for the Red Sox if he gets the if he gets action today. Uh he leads the Red Sox in barrel rate at 13.4%. Also hitting 333 the homer against righties in the last week. But again, couldn't find a price on uh on Cassis. So if you can find a price on him, I would take a shot. I'd also lean towards Connor Wong as well. But uh, we'll go to this matchup between the Giants and the Cardinals. And I'm going to go with J.D. Davis for a home run at uh, at plus 460. Hitting 563 with a pair of home runs and five extra base hits in the last month against lefties. Matthew Libertor allowed a 10% barrel rate in his small sample size this year. So give me J.D. Davis for a home run at plus 460. I'm also going to look at Nolan Arenado for the Cardinals here. Switch dugouts at uh, plus 700. Back to Arenado here who's uh, hitting 476 with four home runs in the month of June against righties. Logan Webb, you know, a pitcher for the uh, the Giants here. I do like him, but he has been weaker on the road. He's allowed a 9.2% barrel rate this season. 
I think Arenado could keep the run going here and keep the run going at a fantastic price at plus 700. I'm also going to look at Jordan Walker at plus 950, hitting 381 with a pair of home runs against right-handed pitching in the month of June. Another fantastic price on a Cardinal here. So, I mean, Jordan Walker at plus 950. I'm also leaning towards Paul DeYoung for the other Cardinals as well. Five for nine with with a home run in his career against Logan Webb. So, lean towards Paul DeYoung if you can find a price on him. Um, Also, and before I get into our last couple of home run prop games, a bit of a shorter show today with an eight-game card. I want to remind everybody, you know, the purpose of this home run prop show is, A, to put you guys on some free winners, but it's also to highlight the benefits of using these betting tools at Pick Dogs and at Sports Chat Place. You know, these tools that you see here, that's where we get the graphics directly from those tools, and they're fantastic. A, they're 100% free, so you can't go wrong with that. You're not going to find betting tools like this anywhere. But these betting tools, they show you the player, they show you the player prop, they show you how often the prop hits, and they show you where you're getting that best possible price for that player prop. The nice thing about that is that if you don't have a book with the, uh, excuse me, an account with the book that's giving you the best player prop uh, price out there, well, you click on that price and it takes you to that sports book, gets you a sports book be- uh, bonus on us. You get to play that price with that uh, that bonus offer, and you add to your advantage over the books, which is something they can't take away from you, which is your ability to shop lines and find the best possible price. You know, there's also other tools on there. You know, if you like. Uh, Betting on trends, hot and cold trends, there's a streaks betting tool. There's parlay builders if you're a parlay better. Um, there's profitable teams and angles. I say every single day that I could probably do a one to two hour show for the day's action just using those betting tools and going in depth with how, how fantastic those betting tools are. But I think it's more effective if everybody just heads on over to pickdogs.com. You play around with those betting tools on your own and, uh, and check them out because I promise you you won't regret it. But uh, let's get back into the home run prop action for... Um, Tuesday's action, and we're going to go to this matchup between the uh, the Rangers and the Angels. We're going to highlight this matchup. We've got a few home run props here. Again, you don't have to play every single player prop from this game, but these are the ones that I do like. Um, we're going to go with Corey Seager for, for a home run here at plus 325. He's hitting 381 with a home run and a triple in his career against uh, Angels starter Tyler Anderson. Leads the Rangers with a seven. Excuse me, leads the Rangers with a 17. 0.9% barrel rate this season. Seager also hitting 367 with three home runs in the last month against left-handed pitching. Excuse me, Corey Seager for a home run at plus 325. Also going to look at Adelise Garcia at plus 280. He's hitting 480 with five extra base hits, including a home run in the last month against left-handed pitching. Second on the Rangers with a 14.4% barrel rate this year. So give me uh, Adelise Garcia at plus 280. And also for the Rangers, I'm going to look at Jonah Heim. At plus 360. In his career against Tyler Anderson, 5 for 9 with a home run. Also has an 8.8% barrel rate this season. It's going to be Jonah Heim for a home run at plus 360. Now we're going to switch dugouts here. We're going to look at a couple of angels in this one. And we're going to go with uh, Shohei Otani for a home run here at plus 385. Uh, He's got 6 home runs in the last 2 weeks against right-handed pitching. Dane Dunning um, starting for the Texas Rangers. He hasn't allowed a lot this season, but he's starting to get hit around a little bit, and he has a lot of 7.1% barrel rate on the year, which is above average, but still not out of the uh, out of the realm of possibility of getting hit here. So give me Shohei Otani at plus 320. I'm also going to look at Mike Trout for a home run at plus 300. Now, Trout is hitting just 143 with a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching, but he is hitting a career 375 with a pair of home runs against Dane Dunning, also is a 15.7% barrel rate this season. So give me uh, Mike Trout at plus 300. Also going to go with Jared Walsh here at plus 700. Now I'm not usually into backing a guy that doesn't have a hit in the last 10 days. But Walsh, he could use this as a launching point. He's hitting 546 with a pair of home runs in his career against Dunning. Um, I'm not, I'm don't, I'm not going to go with the, the Walsh's due theory here. But I just I really like this matchup against Dane Dunning. So... Give me Jared Walsh at plus 700. And I'm also going to go with Taylor Ward for the Angels here at plus 475. Also has a pair of career home runs against Dunning in just a 3-for-6 sample size with all three of those hits going for extra bases. And in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching, Ward is hitting 267 with three home runs. So I'll take Taylor Ward for a home run at plus 475. Also going to look at this uh, matchup between the uh, the Phillies and the Diamondbacks. Going to go with uh, Trey Turner for a home run. At plus 480, 
He's hitting 444 with a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against left-handed pitching. Also one of the Phillies' better power bats against lefties. Now Tommy Henry starting for the Diamondbacks here. Hasn't allowed a whole lot at home, but he did allow a pair of home runs against the Phillies in his first start against them earlier this season. So I'll take, uh, excuse me, I'll take uh, Trey Turner. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong slide there. Trey Turner for a home run at plus 480. Also going to look at uh, Kyle Schwarber for a home run here at plus 265. Uh, He's one of the Phillies to hit a home run off of Tommy Henry in the first meeting. He is hitting uh, 273 with uh, a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against left-handed pitching. So uh, give me Kyle Schwarber at plus 265. Also a lean towards Bryson Stott as well, a name we always get value attached with. He did hit a homer off of Henry in the earlier meeting as well. So I would lean towards Bryson Stott for a couple bucks. Now I tried to make a case for myself with some Diamondbacks against uh Philly starter Matt Strom, but nothing really stood out for me to make it official. I was leaning towards Corbin Carroll and Christian Walker, but again, nothing strong enough uh, in a sample size for me to roll with Arizona here for some home runs. But if you're looking for leans for the for the Diamondbacks, for me, usual suspects, Corbin Carroll and Christian Walker. And we'll get into our last, uh, last home run prop game of the day here. And we're going to go with uh, Jorge Soler. For a home run here at plus 320. Now he hit a pair of home runs on Sunday. He's back on track in my eyes. He's going against a uh, pitcher for Seattle in Bryce Miller. Who's allowed three home runs and 15 runs over his over just seven innings in his last two starts. Now Miller, he's also allowed a 9.8% barrel rate this season. While Soler still has a 17.5% barrel rate on the season. So give me uh, Jorge Soler for a home run at plus 320. I'm also going to look at Jesus Sanchez for a home run at plus 460. He's uh, got three home runs and a 276 batting average in the last two weeks against righties. Also has a 13.7% barrel rate this year. So give me Jesus Sanchez for a home run at plus 460. Now we're going to switch up to the other dugout for our last couple of home run props. I'm going to go with Julio Rodriguez for a home run at plus 525. Uh, you know, Jesus Luzardo, solid for the, uh, the Marlins. But he does have an 11.2% barrel rate allowed this season. And Rodriguez, he's been solid against lefties lately, hitting 364 with a home run against lefties in the last two weeks. So give me Julio Rodriguez at plus 510. And I'm also going to look at Teoscar Hernandez for a home run for the Marlins at plus 285. An 11.9% barrel rate at the dish this season, hitting 357 in the last two weeks against lefties. Did go yard on Sunday. I like his chances to homer in back-to-back days here. So give me uh, Teoscar Hernandez to close things out at plus 285. I'll do a quick recap of the home run props that we did give out for Monday's action. I said smaller card, but still was able to find some meat on the bone. Started with the the Red Sox. We went with Rafael Devers for a home run at plus 320. Also leaning towards Tristan Cassis and Connor Wong, if you can find a price on him. Uh, For the Giants, we went with J.D. Davis for a home run at plus 460. Also for the, uh, the... the uh, the matchup we're gonna switch Douglas. We're gonna go for uh, Nolan Arenado here at plus seven hundred. Gonna for also for the Cardinals go with Jordan Walker at plus nine fifty. Our longest shot on the board. I also lean towards Paul DeYoung as well if you can find a price on him with his career sample size against Logan Webb. Uh, for this matchup against the the Rangers against the uh, the Angels went heavy on this game, but I uh, like a lot of the home run props here. Start with Corey Seager at plus three twenty five. Adelise Garcia at plus 280. Uh, Jonah Heim at plus 360. For the Angels, we're going with Shohei Otani at plus 320. Mike Trout at plus 300. Jared Walsh at plus 700. And Taylor Ward at plus 475. For the Phillies against the Diamondbacks, went with Trey Turner for a home run at plus 480. Kyle Schwarber for a home run at plus 265. Also leaned towards uh, Bryson Stott for the Phillies and for the Diamondbacks. Like I said, didn't love anybody in that game, but uh, at least I couldn't find a sample size to make anything official. But I would lean towards Corbin Carroll or Christian Walker for the Diamondbacks there. And in that last matchup, uh, Marlins and Mariners are going to roll with Jorge Soler for a home run at plus 320. And Jesus Sanchez at plus 460. And for the Mariners to close things out, Julio Rodriguez at plus 525. And Teoscar Hernandez at plus 285. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Up over 131,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel. Couldn't have done it without your guys' love and support. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And if you like this content, make sure you leave a big thumbs up. It helps us out a bunch. And also make sure you have notifications turned on here on our PickDogs YouTube channel. Uh, you know, sometimes we get these videos out a little bit earlier. But, um, you know, with the games being with some evening action, gave me a little bit more time to try to wait for some extra lines. And maybe wait for some extra information. But unfortunately, sometimes we can't wait forever and uh, I still want to be able to give you guys enough time to get these bets in get the best possible price before the lines start to move um, so if you have notifications turned on you can always get notified when this video drops and uh, you watch it then you get those plays in right away again if you're looking for the games that I am the most confident in the ones that I love the most head on over to pickdogs.com click the premium picks tab at the top of the page we'll get you sorted there and I implore everyone, please check out these betting tools at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. They're 100% free. You're not going to find betting tools like this out there anywhere. that are this extensive, this in-depth, and they're, like I said, that are 100% free. They are a great tool to have on your belt when you're betting every single day. And like I said, they're, they're going to make you money. And they're just another tool to have on your belt that's going to help in that process. But thank you guys so much. Appreciate each and every one of you once again. Let's crush the books on Monday.